now, Friday Night Fever with Mike Ludlow. Good evening, everyone. The Marquette girls basketball team has a few road games before the calendar turns to January. Tonight, Ben Smith's club traveled to Kingsford to meet the Flivers. Pick up the action in the first half. Hunter Vidala, nice pass to Shayla Hubner down low for the easy two. 24-8 Marquette, second quarter. Kingsford answers Jordan Kriegel through defenders and scores. That makes it 27-10. Kingsford again moving the ball. Jalen Jennings floats that one in very nicely. Marquette's lead down to 15 with four to go in the half. Marquette back to expanding the, oops, that's a Kingsford basket. Okay, how'd that happen? Okay, we're out of order, but we'll get back to it here. Marquette, Maddie Conan driving, scooping, and scoring. That's 29-12 Marquette. Van Vidala with a bullet pass to Martha Storm. She puts it in. Marquette goes on to win this one, 55-32. Also, Dickinson County against Marquette County. Nagani, a 20-3 lead early over Norway in the second quarter, but then Norway started playing a lot better. J.C. Ball, the outside three. Knights within 14 for the Maize and Blue. Adina Anderson, Haley Pizzat, Courtney Finola for the hoop and the harm. She missed the free throw, but Nagani again led by 16 at 22-6. Brenda Casanova, Harley Caster, Swish. Knights within 14 one more time. Then for the Miners, it's Ashley Trisetter taking the pass, driving, and scoring 24-10 Nagani. Harley Caster will find Jordan Kramer, who had a very nice night. She hits this jumper right in front of me. She led all scores with 25. Check out the quick move by Alita Johnson, exploding to the basket and scoring. She had 17. Nagani goes on to win 46 to 38. On the boys' side, Iron Mountain at Norway. And whoa, major rejection to get that one going. But here comes Iron Mountain at the free throw line. Puts that one in. That's Jake Tolman. Mountaineers up 3 nothing. And Tanner Hootery misses the shot, but the rebound is stolen away by Luke Truscott, and it's 5 nothing Mountaineers. Hootery gets the pass. He will knock down the three-pointer. And you're probably wondering, in yeah, Norway not scoring much in the first quarter. In fact, they would not score in the first quarter. And Iron Mountain rolled to the victory, 52-35. A couple of college basketball scores to mention. Gogebic Community College out in Minnesota playing in a tournament this weekend. The women defeated Misabi 72-34. Lakeland and Hubble's Brittany Kissel had 18 points and 10 rebounds for the Lady Sampsons. And the men won 81-79. Adam Mackey of Ironwood, a game-winning three and 23 points. And we will be right back. The Greco-Roman wrestling team at the NMU's Olympic training site had a couple of first-place finishers today at the Minnesota Storm Holiday Cup at Rochester. Kendrick Sanders won for the third straight year at 145 and a half pounds. Anthony Linares was also a champion at 156.6 pounds. MSU punter turning the football, Mike Sadler, a four-time academic All-American. That's the first in Spartan history. And in basketball, Brandon Dawson will have a miss a couple games with a wrist injury. Thanks for joining us. Good night.